Welcome to the W3 Schools CSS Horizontal Align Tutorial. In this tutorial I will show you how to horizontally align block elements for layout purposes. A block element is an element that takes up the full width available and has a line break before and after it. Examples of block elements are H1, P and div elements. Let's look at how we can center a line using the margin property. Block elements can be center aligned by setting the left and right margins to auto. Setting the left and right margins to auto specifies that you split the available margin equally. The result is a centered element. You can also use the shorthand property margin which will set all margins to auto and this includes the left and right margin. Of course, center aligning like this will have no effect if the width is set to 100% since there's no space for aligning. Let's see how you can left or right align using the position property. You can align elements using absolute positioning. For this element, you set position absolute and place it 0 pixels from the right side. Let's change it to 0 pixels from the left side. Absolute position elements are removed from the normal flow of the page and can overlap other elements. So if we place a P element here, you see that our absolute position element overlaps it. When aligning elements like this, it's always a good idea to predefine margins and paddings for the body element. This is to avoid visual differences in different browsers. You can see we have a small gap here. It's due to the default body margin. And in Internet Explorer 8 in earlier versions 17 pixels of margin will be reserved for the scroll bar on the right side unless a doc type declaration is set. Now let's see how we can left and right align using the float property. This element is pushed as far right as it will go using the float property. Elements after the floating element will flow around it, like this. So, unlike elements with absolute positioning, floated elements are a part of the normal flow of the page. Let's try floating it to the left. And again, it's always a good idea to predefine margin and padding for the body element. You see we have a small gap here and here due to the default body margin. And this concludes our tutorial for horizontally aligning block elements with CSS. Thank you for watching.